Washburn here from PondalgySolutions.com and in uh, this week's Pond Tip I want to answer a few questions that we've had come up uh, about pond salt. Last week we sent out an update uh, concerning a pond startup checklist for spring and in that checklist we mentioned possibly adding salt to your pond and we mentioned a, a ratio of about one pound per 100 gallons of water and this um, stirred up a few questions that came in uh, and they're valid questions actually. People are asking, well I thought this was a freshwater um, situation, freshwater fish, won't the salt hurt them? Uh, it seems like an awful lot of salt. And just to clarify that and to go into a little more detail about how salt can be used in your pond. First and foremost, this is not an absolute thing. It isn't something that you have to do, but it is suggested that ideally the salinity of your pond water should be somewhere around about 0.1%, that's 0.1% to 0.2%. Uh, and to get this ratio, uh, you, would, you would use something like approximately uh, about a pound and a half actually uh, to get a pound and a half per 200, uh, per 100 gallons, I'm sorry, uh, to get it close to this ratio depending on if you started you know from fr from a fresh start with no uh, uh, no salinity in the water. So uh, that sounds like a lot but it's actually very small when you consider the, the sheer water volume. Um, and the goal again is 0.1 percent to 0.2 percent. Uh, the recommendation we made about uh, one pound per 100 gallons is actually fairly conservative. If you do have plants, um, just to give you an example, um, the commercial products that you'll find on the market, commercial pond salt, the recommended uh, dosage is around 730 grams, which is actually 1.6 pounds of salt per 100 gallons. For those of you who have pond plants that may be sensitive, the actual dose is around 370 grams, which is about 8 tenths of a pound uh, of pond salt uh, per 100 gallons for those, those that have plants that may be sensitive to salt. So you need a little bit of salinity. This is improving the mineral content of the water. Uh, it improves the electrolytes, which is actually healthy for fish. Uh, fish will develop and maintain a good slime coating on their skin. Salt helps with that. Uh, it, it keeps skin infections and other problems away and helps them remain a bit healthier. Now you shouldn't add salt just for the sake of adding it, but if you are able to test it, uh, it's a good idea to do so. It's getting harder to find uh, test kits. You will find what's called master test kits that may have salt uh, reading uh, uh, equipment available, but probably the most reliable is a, a salt meter. Um, Koi I'm trying to think of the brand, and I'll place that. Uh, I'll place a link to that lower on the page with more information. But it's actually a digital meter that will read in in very small increments, and that's what you need really to get a valid reading on the salt. Uh, if you ever have problems with fish, and particularly skin uh, ailments and and parasites and things like that, you will want to use salt most likely. And just to give you an idea concerning fish health, salt is also a medicinal treatment for folks uh, that have fish with parasitic infections and things like that. The recommended dose for that actually is around 730 grams, which is again over a pound of salt in 10 gallons of water. Now this isn't something you leave your fish in very long, maybe 5 to 10 minutes, uh, but no longer than 10 minutes, and then you would basically pull them out and put them back in the pond. You also want to use pond water in this treatment, not just uh, tap water or distilled water. And uh, you can treat this way every 24 hours until the problems are resolved, but that just shows you that you can actually use a fairly good amount of salt in, in treating fish with ailments. A lot of people also ask, well, what is the salt that is used? You'll find commercial pond salt on the market, obviously, and when in doubt, I would go with that. You don't want to use uh, table salt, anything with uh, iodine in it that is not uh, healthy for fish, but you can use water softener salt, water softener pellets, as long as it's pure salt. In other words, you don't want any additives, you don't want any rust preventatives or conditioners in there, but just straight uh, water softener salt will uh, work quite well in ponds and it'll be a lot cheaper for you to use in that way. And um, 
Again, it's not something that you should have to add regularly or routinely. Uh, salt will not dissipate in the water. It doesn't just necessarily dissolve and go away. However, if you do overdo a salt treatment, let's say you get your ratio up a little too high, you can do water change outs and that will bring the, the salinity down a bit. Uh, another point I want to mention, some salt in the water actually helps to neutralize nitrites, which can be toxic to fish. Uh, we haven't found it to be necessarily useful in, in any form of algae control, which we get questions on that too. But the real use of salt is to maintain electrolytes for your fish, which can help maintain a healthy and happy fish uh, when it's in the right ratio. So uh, I hope that helps clarify a few things regarding salt in your pond and dosage requirements and things like that. There's going to be some additional information down this page on testing equipment for salt. And um, if you have any use for that, you can certainly follow up on, on the recommendations we have and, and learn more about that. So hope this helps clear up a few questions that came in. And uh, until next time, take some time to enjoy your pond. Take care, everybody.